Let's talk about the fresh attack on Benue community and other issues of insecurity in the country. Security analyst Chikuma Okenwa joins me on the news at 7. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. As it is, the pain of the Kaduna train attack is still very much with us. And uh, now we are hearing again about renewed attacks in Benue communities with over 20 people killed. What could be responsible for this resurgence? Honestly, let me blame it on the failure of government to fulfill the basic obligations why there is government at the first place. The primary purpose of government should be the security of lives and, of course, the welfare of the people. It follows to say that you cannot protect what you do not value. I want to ask, how much does one life worth in Nigeria? If with all of the losses we hear day by day, Nigerians wake up not knowing what will befall them before the end of the day, and it does appear from the body language of the leaders that everything is okay, why they are now focusing on 2023, I would expect that the president should be able to either address this, which was the major fulcrum upon which Nigerians elected him, to secure their lives as a retired general, or he should resign honorably. Um, what okay, stops well, Nigerians, I mean Nigerian leaders, from I'm resigning button, when it is very Mr. necessary? Okenwa, if we may flash back to the Kaduna train incident, we know that uh, there was a government delegation that visited the scene and uh, trying to investigate further what happened and uh, trying to secure actually the release of those in captivity. So when you talk about body language and you mentioned that government isn't uh, doing anything about it, uh, well, government would tell you uh, it otherwise. We, we've, we've not seen enough engagement. I mean, you just had the concern those that had their siblings trapped expressing their frustration to resort to other means which mean the nation is gradually tilting towards anarchy we had from the Benue state governor today advising people to defend themselves why must i defend myself when we have a government in place we elected and gave the the, the monopoly gave the prerogative of the instrument of violence why because when everybody have access to violence then you have no nation the essence of concentrating the, the, the monopoly of violence to the government is so that the government can use it to protect lives and also to, 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 to bring the corporates to book. But over the time, over the years that we've been having these security challenges, what we rather see is that instead of the perpetrators being brought to book, even the ones that are caught are forgiven. I mean, which nation have an ongoing insurgency challenge that pardons terrorists except Nigeria? So I think there is something basically wrong. And one of the things we must also begin to, if we want to get it right in terms of security, we must call a spade a spade and not a family implement. Over time in conversations, I hear things like farmers headers clash. It is not farmers, farmers headers clash. It is headers oppressing farmers. And it was not like that before. All right, Mr. Okenwa. to be peaceful. You have mentioned a number of points. You've mentioned the place of people defending themselves, but as it is, that is not provided for in the Constitution. As it stands now, lawmakers are calling for proactive measures to ensure insecurity is brought to a standstill. It's not the first time such call is being made. What impact do you see this fresh call making? That would make sense if, if only there, there could be like a taxing and a coordinating intelligence unit in Nigeria, which currently we lack taxing and coordination, ability to coordinate intelligence, gather adequate intelligence, security in its very nature should be first for safety. Because if people, we always get lost and all we do, we try to do is to catch the perpetrators, then what's the essence of security? Security, it should be proactive. It should be able to stop it from even happening. When there is security, no life should be lost. That's, the, what, that's what security means. Not after people who've lost precious lives, like the doctor that was lost on, on the train, and then you begin to do everything now to see how to, like, you know, redeem the situation. When somebody has died, the person has died. And the only crime that this person's committed were just that they were Nigerians. Is it a crime to be Nigerian? So our governors, our government at all levels must rise to the challenge. 
and must be able to coordinate intelligence and ensure that this unwanted, needless lives of Nigerians does not happen on a daily basis, if not hourly. Well, thank you very much for sharing your perspective with us. Security analyst Chukum Maokewa, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you.